Hello everyone and welcome to Miko's Corner. Today we will be continuing The Telltale's The Walking Dead. In the previous episode you saw us find out what happened to Mark. He was being cannibalized by the dairy farmer people and we managed to interrupt the dinner in time to prevent Clementine from eating human flesh? Body? Muscle. Probably muscle. Yeah. That would make sense. Unfortunately, everyone else did. We got trapped in a freezer, and Lily's dad Larry died, finally. I took Lily's side and didn't try to kill him, but Kenny did, and Kenny hates us now. Clementine got us out of the fridge, and we are now searching for Kenny after having decided to kill Danny to prevent other poor saps from being cannibalized. Carly and Ben showed up outside, and here we are. About to go into the house to save Katja and Duck, deal with the other two farmers, and help Kenny. Can, can you go, please, ma'am? I'm actually not that concerned about... I'm gonna take the boy, check around a bit. It's okay, Carly and Ben are back there. Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? That is me. Crap. Come here. Let me go. Yeah. Please hit back. Don't come in here. You're just mad to go snooping around, didn't ya? I don't go, Brenda. I'm not sure what I'm supposed Don't to do here. There, I mean Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. That red light from down below isn't uh, going up to the house anymore. Oh. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid. There's a walker up there. Is it Marker? Mark? Let her go, Brenda. Please, Mark the Walker? I'll do it! Please! I don't want to kill you, Lee! No! Oops. Okay, so I was doing the right thing. Which is... Doesn't make sense. You walk when she's pointed at Katja, but you don't walk when it's pointed at you. you just had to go okay. Around, you? Go I didn't get the option to talk. That's why I moved forward again. I was like, "Oops." Please, please don't you take another step. Brent, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Oh, okay. So the walker's not there yet. Stop right there! I mean it. Red light, green light. With a gun. Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. Oh, oh looky. Just let me go. Stay back. Don't do anything stupid. Now I'm super nervous about walking too long. Cause there are some red light, green light games and video games that are just super sensitive. Don't antagonize someone with a gun. Stop. You don't have the guts. Uh huh. Come forward. One more chat, and then the walker should be able to get her. Kenny. Andy. Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done. Calm down. Calm down. 
What for? Huh? All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline. Ooh, right in the ear. It's been a while since I've had a QT. There's a, an electric fence nearby, isn't there? Watch out, Lee. Oh, see? Yeah. Can I get some help here from someone, please? Lily. Lily. Oh. Oh, you see his reflection? That's Oh man. Lily and Kenny think they're the leaders, but it's it's Lee. Lee's our leader, man. Come on. Can't punch him no more. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over. Fuck you. As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you, you all fucked. They're not coming. What do you mean? Lee? What the fuck do you mean? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! <sighs> Wait, 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 what are my options? Tell me what they are. Kick Andy. Or... Walk away. Don't kick a man when he's down, just walk away. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! You spared Andy's life. Lee. There goes the generator. You would think that would start washing off with the rain. At least a little. Oh, his mom's walking in from the house. Walking out. To be fair, this is early on in the apocalypse and crap hits the fan easily. And everyone has to learn certain lessons. Still covered with her dad's blood. Hey Lee, I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? We should have known something was up. How the hell do we foresee that? Come on, Lee. I don't know. I really don't. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. It's broken now. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. 
They could have at least rough wrapped it. He's got enough long sleeve. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? Oh. Ah. Uh. You know, hero. Mm. He destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Crap. There was Can no good answer. Man, but fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? Kenny don't care. Shit. Did I ruin things with him? Man, whatever happened to loyalty? Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? <sighs> yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were gonna kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Shh. Go quiet, bro. Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Hello? How'd they get like this? You gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. Yeah, but where are they? This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. Well, what if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Oh, man. I gotta, I gotta take the moral high ground. I wish there was a middle option where we take a little bit and leave them some. You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. We'll survive without it. The hell we will. We'll find a way. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay, what have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. Ben. Have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. Do you want it? She doesn't want it. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. You're in Georgia. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, shit. 
Show me, show me. What is it? So we do know it was her that stole the hat. At least it's not some other unknown character. Next time on The Walking Dead. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases him, but it's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, alright? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. Well, that was a wild ride. Chopped David's leg off. You and 84% of other players chopped his leg off. Because we tried to save him. Shot Jolene. You and 87% of players had Danny shoot her, or let him shoot her. Helped kill Larry, pragmatism. You and 68% of players didn't help. That's surprising, because Larry is not a likable character. But maybe people like Lily. Killed both of the St. John brothers. You and 82% of players didn't kill both brothers. Interesting. Survival. Stole food from the guard. Car. You and 44% of players didn't steal. See, here's my thing, is that like s half of the group said we shouldn't steal from this car. So I went with the majority, and then they all go and steal with Kenny. That doesn't make sense to me. If people look up to Lee, I mean, Lee was the one who found out about the dairy farm, they would be following him, not Kenny. So, I don't get why, thematically, logically, whatever... Story-wise, they didn't stick to what they said they were going to do. That I have a problem with. Moving on. Uh, do I have to look through the credits again? Do you guys want to see the credits? Do I have to include them? Or can I just do a fast-forward? Here, let's do a fast-forward right now. Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. I both love the idea of a train and don't think it's a very smart idea because it makes a lot of noise. Previously on The Walking Dead. Aw, <clears throat> oh, man. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. 
No one's trying to cut you out. And yet you got on my case about not killing Larry. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Kenny! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Oh wait, maybe that video is supposed to be a precursor to this episode, where the bandits who are left come after us. Uh-oh. We did see a guy in a green ski mask in the preview for this episode. <clears throat> I'm binge playing this. I don't need the outro, intro, and credits every time. Only one of them has a backpack? That's not smart. Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. Gotcha. Made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. Wait. I don't think it ever said Everett's prescriptions on the side. In episode one, I don't believe so. Okay. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. blocked by all the fallen concrete. There's no safe way through that mess. They're gonna get stuck. Called it. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Wait, wait, what was that? It's completely flat. Hmm. Looks like it still works. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. doing with this? 
Oh, use winch control. Okay. Your girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I haven't asked. You even talk to that girl anymore? Of course I do. Don't be mean. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for her, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Should have grabbed his other hand where there was no bullet wound on that side. Shit. Jesus. Are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shocked. Now get off here. No! 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 There's a live person. Help me! But it's one walker. Oh god, she's pulling them all out. What the, what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. <sighs> it's a girl. She's gonna get us killed. No shit. Oh, Kenny. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. I don't know we're here. What do you mean? We leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Yeah. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. I don't think we would have had time to save her with all those walkers coming. Let's go. She'll keep busy. It was a long wait time though. But if she saw them and ran towards them, that's even a bigger problem. Goodbye, she quietly says. It shouldn't be that loud be through the this place out. We ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Shouldn't be that loud. Don't forget from underneath the, the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. One item. See, he's not even wearing a backpack. She's gone. There's not much time now. I don't know about you, Kenny, but I am uh, pretty I fast. Everything. That girl didn't die for nothing then. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Jimmy, help! Oof. Seriously, Kenny. Dude. Don't you dare. Don't you dare leave me. Can, can, I, 
What the? Oh boy. Thank god. There's a pilot. Or a helicopter pilot, maybe? Can you just leave? Stop looking at him. Godly. What was that? They're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Yes, please yell at Kenny for not helping you out. He needs to get his shit together and help people out. Or he's never gonna get extra help. It's a lot of arrows that haven't been retrieved. You should take them, and then you can figure out how to make a bow. Who's she talking to? You're back. Finn found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Oh. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. I called her sweet pea. How cute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Huh. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable any- We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. Yeah. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal it's and stealing. I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out Ooh, there. Ooh, cad. Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? What is happening? It was a mistake. We got our supplies, but we should have tried to save her or put her out of her misery. Well, you had Kenny with you, so some options were off the table. <laughs> you should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's a lot of it's camera cuts back Earth, and forth. And it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! <sighs> God, I don't know what to say. She's right, you know. Shit's just getting worse by the day. Whatever, Lee. You've picked your sides. Ken, that's not fair. Thank you, Katja. All Katra. I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Patronizing. Thanks, Ken. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's 
probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. And here we go, doing our walk around. Like in all the other episodes. Check in with everyone. Maybe I can repair things with Ken. Alright. I do need to leave this episode here. Hope you're enjoying this series. I hope you're enjoying the beginning of episode 3. It would appear I'm averaging 3.5 episodes... Uh, 3.5 videos per episode, so that's pretty exciting. And I hope you guys will continue to enjoy this series, and enjoy the series I'm using to intersperse The Walking Dead. Got some pretty cool games. Make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell for notifications every time I upload a new video. See you next time!